Well, Vince, is it uh, was that you making all this noise, this this hopping and, and hollering and, and laughing uh, in the uh, in the other room there? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> is I'm that just myself right now? <laughs> is that just you, or is there something special about this win tonight? Um, well, honestly, it's just me, but this win is is special as well. So it kind of just adds to it. Double and, whammy. And why is that? Why is this win so special? Because I just beat Jim Miller. Mm -hmm. Jim Miller's a tough, tough dude. He's a veteran. He's been in the UFC since I've been watching MMA, mm -hmm. and uh, to fight him was, was honestly an honor for me. Um, but uh, it was it was something that I that I've wanted to do. I've always wanted to beat beat someone that I've looked up to in fighting, and I got to do that tonight. Mm -hmm. Would he be the guy in, in your division, or is there anyone else sort of on that level, or was was he the guy that you had that level of respect for? Um, there's there's other guys I have that level of respect for too. Um, there's plenty of guys that I have that respect for. But like I said, I, I've been watching him. I um, mean, he's, he's been in the UFC since I've been fighting amateur. So to fight him is kind of like, it's, it's a little surreal, you know? Um, excuse me. He, he's a tough dude. He submitted some of the best grapplers in MMA. And uh, I outgrappled him tonight, you know what I mean? Letting people know that I'm just because I, I got my ass whooped playing, uh, <laughs> playing with Gillespie, you know what I mean? Doesn't mean that I, that I suck at grappling. So. Hopefully, hopefully, I put that statement out there tonight. Well, and I obviously want to ask you about this fight, but but what what happened with Gillespie? Because you said that right after this fight too, is that everybody kind of sleeps on your wrestling now because of what happened in the Gillespie fight. How, how do you explain what happened against him? I was it, it was just an off night grappling wise for me. Um, when I fought Gillespie, I, I feel like in my camp I was concentrating too much on my striking because I knew his striking was was honestly trash. So uh, I, I didn't really. I don't know. I, didn't, I guess I didn't respect his wrestling enough, and I didn't really work on it enough like I should have, uh, like I did with with Miller in this camp. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it was just that played a big part of it, and, and my defense wasn't all there. And you know what I mean? In in this game, you, the smallest mistake will cost you everything, right? So mm -hmm. when I fought Gillespie, I just it was just one small mistake after another, and that's how that's how that's how I lost that fight, honestly. So what about this fight tonight? What did you expect going in, and how did it play out um, related to your expect expectations? <laughs> honestly, I expected I expected Miller to to bang with me a little bit. Um, but I expected him to honestly just try to do what Gillespie did and just try to take me down the whole time and, and just try to get me to the ground. Um, I was a little shocked that he didn't, that he wasn't able to get me to the ground. Um, I thought he, I thought he'd honestly be a lot better getting me to the ground um, because of his grappling experience. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting him just to turn into a grappling match. I wasn't expecting him to strike so much with me. Um, he came out pretty confident with the striking, which kind of threw me off a little bit too, right? And kind of. It kind of like lowered my striking level, I guess, a little bit, right? But um, it was it was a good fight, and and you know what I mean. I, I can't I can't say one thing bad about Miller. He's a tough dude, and that was a tough fight for me to do. But uh, I just I wanted it. I wanted it tonight, and there was nothing I was gonna let. Nothing he was gonna do was gonna was gonna stop me. Yeah, and how was that third round in particular? Because he looked tired to me in between the second and third rounds, and then you got him down really early in the third round, and all of a sudden he was coming back in that third round. Yeah, I know, and uh. <laughs> uh he, uh, I wore him out bad in the second round. Um, I knew I did. I was on top of him. I don't think he expected me to be as, as dominant as I am in grappling. Um, I wore him out. I was hitting him with good elbows, uh, good punches. Everything he was trying, I was shutting down. I was in his corner, and his coaches were basically coaching me how to beat him at the same time, you know. So um, I think that wore him down a lot. In the third round, um, after the second round, I realized I can get him down fairly easy, right? Like I'm a stupidly strong guy, and I knew that. And I knew once I got my hands locked around him, I was going to get him down. So in, in the third round, I, I just went for it. I said, screw it, right? I took him down. Um, I was a little, little more than a little bit of danger in that guillotine at the end. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he, he, he was too tired. His arms were gassed. He didn't really have the squeeze like he probably would have in, in maybe the first or second. I ended up luckily getting my head out. And, uh, you know, I, I was kind of fighting from there. Um, he uh, Actually, no, that was at the end of the round, huh? Now I'm, my, my time frame is off right now. He, he uh, I made a mistake. I was on his back. That's what happened. I was on his back. I made a mistake. He ended up getting me off on top. It was really hard for me to get my bottom leg out and get up. Um, he, he stayed on me like glue, right? Like that, that dude is one monkey you do not want on your back. Um, so my goal was just keep the hooks off. Don't let him, don't let him get his hooks in. Don't let him completely get back control of me. That's what I did. It was a tough fight. He came back, but he was super gassed. He was gassed in that third round. I knew he was, I was pretty tired too. It's not like I had all the, all the uh, gas in the world, but, uh, I knew I knew uh, I had a little more in my tank than he did. So where do you think you go from here after a big win against Jim Miller? Ain't nowhere to go but up. Ain't nowhere to go but up. Um, most people say sky's the limit, but I'm, I'm looking to go into space. <laughs> I'm looking to hit space. <laughs> well, congratulations on the win, man. Go enjoy Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.